Yeah, 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 yeah. Back once again, Trey, with another fish out of water request reaction. I appreciate y'all being here with me, but you know we'll be here for the music. Let's get to it. <laughs> Carnegie Hall. His vocals will come out so far, I could just hear it in the oh, guitar tone. The the I do it. Yeah. Blue moon sinking from the weight of the load, and the building scraped the sky. Cold wind ripping down the alley at dawn, and the morning paper flies. Dead man lying by the side of the Beautiful recording. Oh, is that one? Yeah, see, two children in the field room. Or just standing on the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized some. You people clap at the beginning of these piano songs, and I know for a fact that. Cause I don't play. I mean, I don't play that good. I know all the introductions. <laughs> he said, "No, for a fact, I don't play that good." <laughs> the humbleness of this well, legendary motherfucker. The just humble. So you know, I know. You know. The humbleness of this legendary motherfucker right here talking about he don't play with me. Listen, but that's what that's what makes him legendary. They play for the feel. The feel of it, like, I don't care if I'm the best player, I'm going to sound like it, though. You're going to feel this. You're going to feel what I'm playing. But before he got into touching on those keys a little bit and downplaying his legendariness a little bit, being extra humble, I knew from the tone of that guitar his voice was going to be so excellent. Because the tone of that guitar is like I could hear his fingers rub on the strings. It was just recorded so beautifully and cleanly. Good fucking job, whoever did the audio on that stage. You can hear him crispy off the audio recording. I can only imagine off them big monitors in there. Oh, I envy the people that was at this show. That was excellent. Perfection.